What's up guys, Mitchell Watts, Town & Country TV. Today, I am looking at this 2019 Ford F-150 and I'm here with the top 10 things you need to know, I guess you could call it hidden features about your new F-150. Now make sure to stay all the way through because we might also have a $25 Amazon gift card in this video. So if you want to win that gift card, it's real simple, find that code, pop it into your Amazon account. The first person to do that gets the Amazon gift card. Now, I tell you that to tell you this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notification bells so that way you can win the next Amazon gift card we give away in the very next video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. The very first thing I want to showcase on this video is going to be a secret compartment for your F-150 keys. Now I want to point out to you that this this is the this is the spare set of keys. I'm going to put this way outside out here on the floor and hope nobody runs over it, but I'm laying that out there to prove a point to you because I've got the other set of keys for the truck right here completely disassembled. So you can see that I've got the key fob itself. The battery is completely removed out of the key fob. And so I d I'm doing this to show and prove a point to you. Uh, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and hop inside of the vehicle. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and start the vehicle just like normal. And as you can tell, because once again, there's no key in it, it says no key detected. And that's because there's no battery in here. There is a secret compartment on the F-150 and every vehicle has got it. It just depends on where it's located. On this particular F-150, I can't, I probably should have had this done ahead of time. This is the spot for that exact same key fob. So now if you drop the key in there and crank it up, now, the truck will crank even though the battery is completely dead or even completely removed out of the key fob. And the reason for that is because it's actually sending the signal through the key instead of using the battery for the signal, if that makes any sense. If your F-150 is an XLT or above, you have the keyless entry code where you type in a five-digit number and it unlocks the truck. What happens if you lose that code? I'm fixing to show you how you can do that. It's very simple. You have to have both sets of your keys, as I do here. Now, if you happen to have a key with an actual, you stick it in there, you want to want to turn it forward. But since this is a lariat, you need to make sure that you drop the key into this little holder down here that we just got through showing you. So it's real simple. Drop the first key in there, turn the accessory on, but don't crank it. Cut it off, take that key out, Put the other key in, do the exact same thing, cut it off, now crank it, and you should have your Ford passcode show up right on the screen. The next feature I want to talk about is inside the navigation system. Sometimes the prompt volume is way too loud and sometimes you need to turn it up and down. In one quarter mile, make a U-turn. As you can probably hear, that's very, very loud, and I want to turn it down. But some people just turn it, and, what and it just adjusts the volume of the radio. But if you want to adjust the prompt volume for the navigation system, wait until she says something, then adjust the volume. It's a very simple way to adjust the volume of actually Maybe how loud. Turn now. So as you can see, I just turned it down. for That way I don't get blared out every single time she tries to tell me to turn here, turn there. It's a great way to fine tune the audio for your liking. Now that you know how to get the factory code for your F-150, let me show you how you can change it and personalize the code to match you. Now keep in mind that if you change it or update the passcode, it will always revert back to that factory code if you ever lose power to the truck for whatever reason. So keep that code forever and ever, just in case. But it's real simple. You type in the factory code, then you tap one. You notice how the door cycled, then you can type in any code that you want. Wait another second, they'll cycle again. And now that custom code is automatically in the truck. It's very, very cool. As a bonus feature on this, now if you want to unlock the one door, you just type in your passcode, it unlocks this one. If you want to unlock all of them, you press the rest of them and now it unlocks the passenger doors and the tailgate as well. It's kind of a safety feature because they don't want to just unlock everything right off the get-go. There is one more way you can change that door code and that's actually in the infotainment system inside the SYNC 3. Simply come into settings, come over to the vehicle, and type on the door keypad code. Type in the factory code, hit enter. Now I can add another code to the vehicle itself. 
and there we go. I've added a new door code. This system is probably a little more easy to use than it is with the door, but now you know how to use it both ways. For my next trick, I'm gonna take both of these keys. I'm gonna throw them out the door just to prove a point. No keys in the truck. Let's say you're tailgating, you want access to the radio, but you don't have the keys with you or you don't want it running for whatever reason. It's very simple. Come into the truck, hit the power button on the volume, and you've got full access to your audio system, Bluetooth streaming, radio, you name it. It's all right here without any keys. A very nice feature that most people don't know about. In the previous gen F-150, the jack was actually located right in this area. Now, since they did the refresh in 2015, a lot of people, we've had a lot of customers call back mad as a hornet, you sold me a truck without a jack. It's actually not the case. It's just very well hidden. Located just behind the passenger rear seat, if you pull that little lever, boom, there is access to the jack and also the fuel filler nozzle. So that way, if you ever get stranded and need to put some gas out of a gas can, boom, you've got that taken care of. Now, keep in mind, you don't need that for every time you fill up the, the nozzle. The Easy Fuel Capless Fuel Filler System is designed for actual nozzles at the pump. So that's only needed when you actually run out of gas. But it's very important to know where the jack is on your new F-150. Next up, let's talk about memory seating. So if you've got an F-150 with memory seating, which is prim primarily like lariats and above, you have the ability to save the actual seat location, but you have even more than that. You can actually program it to the key itself. And so for instance, I've got it set up to where if I unlock this remote, it's going to adjust all of the seats just by hitting the unlock button. As you can see, it'll automatically start moving around the seat back, the steering wheel if it's uh, equipped with it, even the mirror themselves everything readjust based on which key hit the unlock button and so once it gets everything set back into motion just like it wants to if I come in and I set it up with this other button watch what's gonna happen I hit unlock and everything goes back to that other memory position seating and so it's a really really nice way if you've got a vertically challenged uh, spouse <laughs> and you're not everybody can be happy all they have to do is hit the unlock button and then that way by the time you get into the truck everything is exactly the way it needs to be now let me show you how you do that to set this feature up it's real simple you get your key that you plan on driving with every single day and what you need to do is set the chair exactly like you want set the mirrors exactly like you want and if it's uh, uh, available or optioned on your f-150 also set everything including the steering wheel where you like it once you've got it set up where you like it click and hold the one button which by the way these are the memory seating click and hold that you'll hear a first tone then you'll hear a second tone then hit the lock button. Now this key is coded for this seating position. Then you get your vertically challenged spouse and get them in the vehicle, set everything like they like it, move the seat all around, and then do the same thing but with the other key. Come in and hit and hold the memory seat number two for two tones, then hit that lock button and everything is set up exactly the way both of you guys like it. It's that simple. The next feature I want to talk about is not featured on every F-150, but primarily lariats and above, and that are these little holes up here. A lot of people don't realize those holes are actual motion sensors that can detect if someone reaches their hand inside of an open window or inside of your sunroof to try and steal your cell phone or whatever the case is. And speaking of cell phone, I'm going to put mine right there just for, for example purposes. But it's real simple. When you come into your vehicle and you cut the truck off, right here in the instrument cluster, when you turn it off you'll see there's two options all sensors or perimeter sensing if you select perimeter sensing that is when you have your kid in the car or you have your dogs in the car and uh, it's not too hot outside for them you got to make sure you take care of those guys but um, if you the kids and the dog <laughs> But uh, make sure that you turn perimeter sensing on if something is going to be moving on the inside of the vehicle. If you select all sensors, that will arm those motion sensors at the top. So that way, if anybody sticks their hand inside of the vehicle, guess what? The alarm is going off. Now that we've got the truck armed itself, I'm going to set the key down here so that way no issues happen to come up. But anytime that if I want to walk back up in here and grab my cell phone or grab something out of the vehicle itself without ever trying to unlock the door, you can see that the alarm will automatically go off even if you're nowhere near the vehicle. I never attempted to open the truck itself. And that is a beautiful feature on the new F-150. 
all of the new F-150s have a brand new feature called active grille shutters. And the way it works is like this. It's kind of like window blinds in your house, but motorized. And what it does is they open and close to restrict airflow to get the, the truck up to operating temperature faster, but it also can help increase the aerodynamics of the vehicle itself. It's real simple. We can actually remote start it and you can see exactly how it works. And there they go. You can see them slowly starting to close, so that way the truck has the ability to get the thing up to operating temperature by closing off those vents and then opening them back up. It's kind of doing a self-check or an update, a safety check before you get started. The next trick that I have for you is pretty cool. If you ever lost your vehicle in a parking lot, can't find it, and you need to try and hit the alarm button to find out where the truck is, just to realize that the key fob's not reaching far enough, I'm gonna show you how you can get a couple of extra feet out of the range of your key fob. As you can see, the F-150 has a phenomenal range as it is stock. That is it at the very end of that row. So a long, long ways off. And as you can see, I can hit the panic button and nothing happens. But if I stick it underneath my chin, it will automatically start cranking because it gives it just a little extra range based out of the chin. Now, I don't know why that is. I'm not a scientist. I'm just from Alabama. I've just been in a car dealership so long that I realized a long time ago you can get it to reach just a little bit further that way. And there you have it. That is our top 10 hidden features on the new 2019 Ford F-150. If you like more videos like this, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and let us know down in the comments as well. And good luck to you guys on winning the Amazon gift card. Congratulations to the winner there. But make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on so that way you have a chance at winning an Amazon gift card here in the very near future. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.